Hi you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Leslie Ann. I would love for you to subscribe. Today I'm doing a vlog all about my MS treatments. So it's officially been almost a year since I've been diagnosed with MS and I am officially starting treatment tomorrow. So I'm so excited. If you've been keeping up with the vlogs, you know I moved. So I'm currently in Columbia. My mom and I are driving up to Charlotte tonight because my appointment is in the morning. If you didn't know, I decided to go with the Tysabri um, infusion option after talking with my neurologist for a while and talking with Zach and doing my own research I figured it was my best option as of now um, but there are some other options I may switch to eventually you know I just want to try it see how it affects me how it makes me feel um, so yeah I am starting on Ty Sabri if you were wondering um, and it is a monthly infusion so I'll be going um, to the infusion center every month I'm just doing my first like one or two in Charlotte because my infusion center in Charlotte is at the same office as my neurologist so I figured it would be like a safe bet for just my first couple times to go up there and be near him and in his office um but once like i get used to it and stuff i'll probably switch to doing my infusions in columbia because it'll be more convenient and closer but yeah i just figured i would take you guys along for as much of this journey as i can because i know so many of you guys have stuck around since my ms diagnosis video and i feel like i have built such a really cool community of you guys on my channel here it just like warms my heart that you guys still reach out to me and message me and that that video is still impacting you um so i want to be able to continue to do that on my channel for you guys also i'm sure you can already kind of tell um from this clip but i am experiencing another flare-up which it has been about a year um since my first one so i'm thankful that this is like the first one i've experienced since then but essentially if you can tell even when i smile and kind of when i talk um this side of my face is very like much weaker than this side of my face um and yeah so i kind of have to like really put effort into making these muscles work <laughs> properly um you can like even tell just like this line is more pronounced than on this side and yeah this is just a recent symptom uh, so fun stuff and then another MS symptom that I'm experiencing lately is which I'm kind of out of breath right now from it um, I think at least is the it's called the MS hug um, and literally today I woke up I woke up with this in the middle of the night a couple nights ago but um, I got no sleep last night because my pain my chest was in so much pain it's like a for me at least it's like a burning feeling it's not even like oh well, it feels like a pressure but it also just really feels like my chest is on fire of course I'm thinking it's probably like ingestion acid reflux whatever I kid you not you guys I took Tums at like 3 a.m. this was all last night then I took Tums again at like 6 a.m. and then the pain was still so bad that I asked Zach to go to the store and get me a Zan get Zantac. And I took a Zantac, still didn't go away. So I was like, okay, well, maybe I'm having a freaking heart attack. <laughs> so I was like, you know, better safe than sorry. Zach was like, yes, let's go to the urgent care. So we spent the entire morning today at urgent care. They did my like normal vitals. So they did like my blood pressure, heart rate, all that kind of stuff, temperature. And then they did an EKG, which I've already had an EKG before, like, a month ago because of my anxiety ekg is normal um they did a chest x-ray that's normal and the guy was like yeah so it's probably just like acid reflux i'll give you this prescribed drug that's supposed to help even more i'm like all right great this is gonna help tremendously i get the prescription i get home i take it doesn't help and i'm like okay i've never truthfully experienced acid reflux in my life um until now and so I would think that taking Tums, since I've never experienced it, that taking Tums, Zantac, and a prescribed thing, like, that would help. It didn't. So I was like, all right, I got to look into this because I don't understand what's going on. I felt better knowing that it had nothing to do with, like, my heart. Um, so that was good. But I started really looking into it. And there's a thing called the MS hug. And essentially, it's just, like, the muscles in your rib cage um spazzing and um 
yeah and it's normally caused from a lesion on your spinal cord which i know for a fact i do have a lesion there so i'm assuming i have another active lesion now um so yeah i'm experiencing that right now it is like unbearable pain it's like for me at least it's like a burning sensation um and when i originally looked it up i kind of ruled out that it could be the ms hug because the first couple of things i looked at said it only lasts like a couple of minutes and i was like well mine's been lasting for an, like hours on end and i experienced it like two days prior so i was like okay maybe it's not that and then i really started doing more research watching people's videos about it testimony comments reading all the stuff and, and like literally someone described the pain that i was in she was like mine feels like someone has has like hot barbed wire and like wrapping it around my chest and i was like oh my gosh yes like that's how i feel so yeah not very fun and all of it is just like happening at once so that's why i also think it's a flare-up because you know the muscles here are weak the muscles in my chest are spazzing and yeah so that's happening and i'm super self-conscious now about my face because you guys know like i'm posting all the time i'm on camera all the time so i'm just like Ugh, great this looks wonderful um so i really hope that this subsides um and i'm hoping my treatment tomorrow can help some of these you know symptoms go away but we will see but yeah that's a little update from me on how i'm doing not that great right now <laughs> um but again i haven't experienced a flare-up in probably a year um like my last like true flare-up for me was the um the one that led me to my diagnosis so um it was bound to happen to have another flare up but um yeah so i've just had a lot of pain and a lot of frustration with my face and all of that but you know just holding true that god's got me and at least i'm going to get treated tomorrow i'm going to see my neurologist tomorrow so i can hopefully get some answers from him get his opinion on things yeah i'm gonna quit rambling i'm headed to my parents house now so i can hop in the car with my mom we can head to charlotte and then we're just gonna stay the night and get up in the morning and go to the office i'll probably be there most of the day tomorrow um so i'll try and vlog like what i can but of course i'm in like a doctor's office i don't really think i can record um but yeah i will see you guys in the morning hi everyone so back in columbia um it's been a crazy past few days i'm obviously out on our back porch um right now i just felt like the lighting would be good out here and it's not too hot so maybe i can make it through but um yeah i obviously wanted to hop on here and update you guys because as you can tell i'm back and i clearly did not get treatment um so basically big story time and i truly feel that this is only a testimony to like my story and my journey um and also i want to preface all of this by saying that one it's my choice to get on here and share my medical choices um and that you know like i said is, is me putting this out there just hoping that it can serve as a purpose to help someone that might be struggling um with trying to make decisions themselves but again i don't have to share these things on the internet i do it just because i want to even if i can just help one person um with their journey i want to just be of help with that um and i know that with doing that i'm subjecting myself to all sorts of opinions on the internet and that is you know fine everyone has their own opinion um but yeah so i just want to preface that like i don't have to share this stuff i'm doing it in hopes that I can help other people with their autoimmune disorder journey, um, even if it's not MS. But please be nice in the comments, um, because like I said, I am choosing to share this. I don't have to share it. I'm just sharing what my choices are for my own personal journey with this. Um, and also, I want to say that I am not at all like in a position to give medical advice, so I don't want you guys to take this as me giving any sort of medical advice. I'm not qualified obviously to do that um i'm just sharing my testimony with this um so this is in no way me giving medical advice i want to make sure that i preface that um but yeah so basically as you know i was going in for my treatment on monday i was going to start tysabri that was my drug of choice um it was going to be a monthly infusion and i was supposed to start this 
all on Monday and I essentially was riding up to Charlotte on Sunday um like kind of close to like eight o'clock we we're gonna get up there Sunday night because my appointment was at 11 on Monday and at like 8 30 I get a call from I guess one of the nurses that works there and she basically was like hey I just want to let you know that we're gonna have to reschedule and push back your infusion for tomorrow unfortunately the nurse that does infusions is sick and I was like are you kidding me <laughs> like I had like the worst luck like why would this happen it was so frustrating because I had been waiting to start my treatments for a month like over a month and all of a sudden literally the night before they're like oh yeah we're gonna cancel because the nurse is sick um and of course I I know things happen um but I was just like you don't even have a backup nurse that could do this for me like it was just kind of one of those things where I was just really frustrated because I have also just as you know been dealing with a lot of anxiety and like just not doing well mentally and so it was kind of one of those things where I was like, oh, just another thing that's just not going right for me. Um, when I was just like putting a lot of like hope and everything into starting these treatments that it would be kind of like a starting point for a turnaround for me in my mental health and everything. So yeah, that happened on Monday night. Super frustrating. Well, I still had my appointment with my neurologist on Monday morning and we kind of just like talked through some things and i think i said in the beginning of this video i was having a flare up i feel like i'm kind of on the other side of it now but i was having extreme pain in my chest like burning sensation super weird um and then i was also having um some like numbness and lack of movement on the what is this the left side of my face um it's still like kind of lacking but i can at least smile now and like move it a little bit better um but yeah i was definitely having a flare-up and i think it was just brought on by all the stress and anxiety that i've been dealing with lately so we kind of talked through that he prescribed a steroid for me so that it would help with the inflammation in my brain that was causing the flare-up and yeah i just expressed to him how i was so frustrated i couldn't start my treatment and all that um and then later on in the afternoon actually a girl messaged me that I guess has seen my YouTube videos. She might even be watching this one right now. Um, follows me on Instagram, whatever. And she also has MS and she was like, hey, I wanted to let you know about this documentary called Living Proof. Don't know if you've seen it, but it's this guy and his dad that have developed this way of treating MS through diet and not medicine. And, you know, she sent me kind of like a whole little synopsis on what it was about. And she was like, I definitely think you should check it out. I was like, sure why not so prior to this when i was at my appointment i had rescheduled my infusion to be on wednesday um so at this point i was like full-on still gonna do the infusion and just had rescheduled it for wednesday when the nurse would be back and um monday night is when my mom and i decided to watch this documentary which i will leave everything i'm talking about throughout this clip like in the description below so you guys can all check it out but um, yeah, so it's basically this documentary. It's on YouTube, you can watch it. Um, and it's this guy and his dad. And essentially they um, are just talking about his journey with MS and they interview a bunch of doctors and other people that deal with MS. And it's a really great documentary, super informative. Um, but he was diagnosed with MS in 1995, which is when there really wasn't any kind of medical advancements or treatments for the disease. So, um, they kind of he got diagnosed and the doctors were just kind of like yeah i'm like there's nothing we can do and basically him and his dad were like not gonna take no for an answer they were like we're gonna find a way to cope with this and find a resolve and um his dad is a geologist and like really really talented when it comes to research and so he started putting in all this research into gut health and diet and how it can affect multiple sclerosis and the progression of the disease and symptoms and all that and they found that it has a huge 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 correlation um you know the gut health and the effects on the brain and inflammation and all that so super interesting because i had never even thought about you know gut health and what we consume affecting you like affecting your brain i don't i feel like you just think of them as like two separate entities like your gut and your brain but really like our body is a system everything works together everything affects one another so once i really like that i was like yeah that kind of makes sense so essentially they came up with this um like website and this mission it's called mshope.com mshope is like i guess like their foundation and whatever um all nonprofit. they literally just like do research put everything out for free um the diet plan is free they have an entire cookbook that's free 
all the resources on their website are free and I was like wow that's like amazing um, and basically they just talked about the benefits of you know doing this diet versus traditional medicine when it comes in treatments when it comes to Emma and I don't know what it was but like something in me I just felt super convicted to try this method um, which was crazy because I have been gung-ho about starting treatment this whole time so flashback to when my appointment for Monday got canceled on my on Sunday night I was super frustrated obviously and I was like okay I just kept reminding myself everything happens for a reason there must be a reason for this and flash forward to Monday with the girl messaging me and me watching this documentary Monday night and then feeling this extreme conviction that maybe I need to try this to me just was not a coincidence in timing um I truly just think that that was like God working in my heart and putting something in front of me that may be changing the plan that I had for myself and the course that I thought I was on but yeah and I was like okay maybe this is my reason like maybe this is why my appointment got canceled I'm not supposed to start this treatment right now maybe this is not my time to start treatment maybe this is my time to try this diet out and see if it helps me at all see if I can keep my symptoms at bay my lesions at bay through diet and not medication and I didn't even know that was an option literally until Monday night so all day Tuesday I'm like praying about this thinking about it trying to figure out like what am I gonna do I send this documentary to Zach I'm like please give me your thoughts on this because I really really trust his opinion and he watched it and he was like yeah like I think we should try this um you know you're overall pretty healthy despite like this flare-up that you're having right now like what is the harm in trying this diet for six months and then if it doesn't work we go on medication and we just do what we were originally gonna do and I was like yeah you're right and um it was just encouraging to hear him say that. It was also encouraging because he was like, you know, I think that this diet is actually exactly how we should be eating in general. Like, as humans, we should be eating this healthy anyway. And he's like, I would be, I want to do this with you. Like, I want to do this diet with you. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, because of course, you know, doing a diet where you have to cut out basically all gluten, all dairy, um, like all processed foods, um, really, really reduce your sugar and take all that is not easy whenever you are like, you're so used to eating that way. Um, so I was not looking at this as like, oh, this is just an easy way out and I'll just do this instead of med medication. Like that was not at all my thought process. I knew if I went this route, it was going to be really challenging and really hard. Um, and so to hear that he wanted to do it with me was just such a blessing um to me and just makes me so so thankful to have him as my husband and my partner in life as i go through this because you know not not many people are going to be like yeah let me um do this like crazy diet because for me like i actually really have to do it you know like i really have to stick to it like he doesn't have any external motivation to do this other than like just to be healthy um but you know so it just really like touched my heart that he wanted to do it with me so yeah i just kind of like prayed a lot on tuesday about it and trying to figure out okay is this really what i'm supposed to do or should i just keep my appointment for wednesday for my regular scheduled treatment and just do what i've been planning to do this whole time i'm gonna pull my hair up because it's getting kind of hot and i'm sweating okay better um but i just kept finding that i had a lot of peace about doing the diet option first um and i do want to say that i am in no way against treatment or medication i mean obviously i'm not i was originally planning to go that route the entire time um but i just felt like you know what's the harm in just trying this first because these medications for multiple sclerosis do have a lot of side effects and if i were to go on them i'd be subjecting myself to that and what's the harm in trying something that you know doesn't have any side effects and that could possibly help me versus going you know the medication route where i am subjecting myself to the side effects and whatever again i think treatment medication is amazing and it's a route that i you know will probably eventually take but why not at least try this option first and see if it works because you know the testimony of this guy that started this entire thing he is i believe 46 now so he has been diagnosed for 27 years and he has never had a single symptom um other than of course his symptoms when he first got diagnosed so um and it's all because he immediately started this diet he immediately started eating this way and is super super strict with it and um yeah he's had like no issues so 
Um, and there's so many other people that have the same testimony that have stayed on this diet and done the same thing and done this route, had no cheat days and just been really strict with it. Um, and yeah, they've had the same success stories. So I kind of look at it as like, why can I not be part of that? Maybe that could be the same for me. Yeah, um, Wednesday rolls around, which is when my rescheduled appointment was for my infusion. I call the doctor, I'm like, hey, I wanna cancel my appointment for today, and I really wanna talk with my neurologist today. Um, and the nurse that I was speaking with over the phone was like, okay, like, what's going on? I was like, I just really need to talk to him about where my head's at with all this, and so she scheduled a virtual appointment for me, which was great. Um, and on the heels of all of that, um, the guy that actually developed all of this um, like dietary approach to MS. His name is Matthew Embry and I actually reached out to him on Instagram. I'm very like straightforward and I was like, you know, let's see if I can reach out to him, get his like actually like personally talk to him. Um, and I was just expecting kind of message with him and I kind of just briefly told him my story in my DM and I was like, you know, I just kind of wanted your opinion on this and whatever. He literally responded and was like, here's my number, give me a call. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I called him, I got to have a full conversation with him um, and just really hear from his words like directly to me, his journey with all this, um, his testimony, like it was just really, really cool to talk to him and so encouraging to hear him basically say like, you can do this, like it's a possibility for you. Um, and so yeah, I got to talk to him on Wednesday and then I, like I said, I also talked to my neurologist and um, I cannot say enough good things about my neurologist. if you. Are battling MS right now and you don't love your doctor please reach out to me on Instagram um, because I'd love to share my doctor's information with you because he is that good I love him I trust him he is just a really really great doctor um, and so I got to have a video call with him and just basically like explain him where I was at and he was so encouraging it was like you know this is your journey I'm just here to present you the options and um if you want to try this diet approach and that be your treatment then we'll look at look at that as your treatment and we will go from there you know i'm just i'm here to support you take time to really think through this and let me know what you decide in a couple weeks and um yeah so it's just really encouraging to hear from him that he wasn't just kind of like oh well if you're not going to do the treatment then you know there's no point in me seeing you um because i was nervous about that of course a lot of doctors would be that way their whole you know goal is to get you on some medication or get you on treatment um because they think it's going to be best for you and so i was just really encouraged that he you know didn't have that attitude with me he was just very you know the ball is in your court whatever you decide you let me know and we will go from there so yeah that is that um i am hoping that i can see him in about a month and just kind of talk through all this again and since i plan to start the diet officially on august 1st i'm hoping that i will at least have had like a month to really try it out and let him know kind of what I've been seeing as far as like symptoms go and if I'm feeling better and having less brain fog, less fatigue, things like that. So um, I'm excited to really dive into this. Um, like I said, the uh, website that I'll leave linked down below has like an entire cookbook, grocery list, all this stuff, complete outline of supplements, what you can eat, what you should increase eating, what you shouldn't eat, what like all this stuff, um, meal ideas, like it's just amazing what they've created and I truly cannot wait to get started with it and see, you know, what my results are and see if it really works for me. Um, and again, if it doesn't work, then I always have the treatments and everything that I can fall back on. Um, but I look at it as, you know, if I don't try it now, I never will. So why not give it a shot, see if it works, see if I can have an incredible testimony with it and potentially help other people um, through this and let them know they have other options. And yeah, but all I can say is all this truly, truly was because of God. Like he completely directed my steps in this decision because I like, don't know any other way as to how this all could have unfolded in the way that it did um it's not just irony <laughs> in my opinion it really kind of was truly god showing his like plan is always greater than yours even if you think that something's going a certain way like the course could always change in just a matter of minutes and a matter of hours days um so yeah it was really really crazy to have all that transpire over three days um but i'm back home now and i'm feeling really really confident like i said walking into these next steps 
of my MS journey and just seeing where you know this diet can take me again I'm putting all the positive energy into the fact that I'm hoping and praying that it works for me but if it doesn't that's okay at least I tried it at least I know and then I can confidently walk into treatment knowing that that's like the best decision for me so yeah that is where I'm at um I am excited to share this journey through vlogs and everything so if you're not subscribed definitely subscribe so you can kind of see how I start on doing the diet, meal planning, meal prepping, what I'm eating, things like that. Because even if you don't have a mess, it really is just a very, very healthy way of eating. It's essentially cutting out all of those foods that are inflammatory um, that we really shouldn't be eating anyway. So yeah, I think even if it doesn't help my MS, at least it's gonna help me feel way, way healthier um, and better about myself um, and better like about my body and mind and all of that. So. I am just so excited for this new journey, this new chapter, getting started with things, um, and I'm excited to take you guys along, so I hope you will stick around and stay around for like all the vlogs. Like I said, I'll be showing kind of my progression into this and um, like how I'm handling it mentally, how it's affecting me physically, all those things, so I really hope you'll stick around. Like I said, if you are like struggling with an autoimmune disorder, MS, whatever, I really hope that this can be of encouragement to you. I hope that you will check out the resources that I have left down below. Um, like I said, talking about like the MS hope, the diet, all of that kind of stuff. Check them out. If you want to watch the documentary, definitely check that out too. I'll leave that linked below as well. And yeah, that's where we're at. Like I said, I hope you will stick around. I cannot believe that it has been pretty much a year since my diagnosis and that I'm like fully confidently walking into this next step to heal myself and my healing journey. Um, again, there is no cure for MS. So really just trying these different methods is all we can do um, and kind of see what help is helpful what works and yeah i'm just excited like i said to step into this next little journey with things i hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful that is going to be all from me i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video